Welcome to another episode of Game Boy Roulette, where we take a look at randomly chosen games from the Game Boy Library. World Circuit Series! Oh yeah, we're going to racing today! World Circuit Series, originally known as F1 Spirit, is part of a series made by Konami. Hey, Konami! I remember when they used to be kinda cool! The series, based on Formula One racing, actually got its start on the MSX in 1987, then a sequel in 1988. The Game Boy version was released in 1991 in Japan and 92 in the US, and was called either F1 Spirit, World Circuit Series, or the Spirit of F1, depending on what country you bought it in. There's really not a whole lot else to say, I mean, it's gonna be a racing game, I would assume. The cover is another one of those that doesn't complicate things either. Just the name, a car, and some flags to represent the- Holy shit, wait! I can win tickets?! Damn, I can't read what it says! What can I win tickets to?! Is it to a race? I bet it's to a race. Ugh, whatever. If I can't get tickets to a race there, at least I'll get one here. Let's load it up and see what it's like. Ultra presents World Circuit Series by Konami! Remember when they used to make games? I guess I still- do, in the most technical sense of the term, whatever. Oh, shit, hang on. We're gonna have to watch that again. You know, for Game Boy, that looks really nice. And the music kinda kicks ass. Is this, is this it, though? Okay. Come in. Ryan, Jay, Briange. Uh, I don't need to practice. I'm ready to go. Uh, um, yeah, Formula Three, sure. Uh, what? Oh. Uh, Montreal. Team B, obviously. Welcome to the race. Here we go. Oh, okay, that's good. Okay, so A accelerates and B... What does B do? Oh, B shifts me into another gear, okay. So it already is reminding me of a uh, wave race. Sound is a little less grating and the music is far nicer though. Let's go all the way to Formula One. What does that do? Oh, even more courses, wow. A lot of them, too. Uh, let's give Canada a shot. I'm gonna create my own team. Alright, Canada. Let's race. Oh. Oh. I get to choose and customize things. That's kind of nice. Uh, what do I want here? Let's go with a high top speed. Let's go with automatic. I don't know what these words mean, and I'm scared now. Oh god, I don't know anything about racing. Uh, sure. <laughs> Let's make no. Yes. Didn't I already choose this? Okay, there we go. Here we go. Room. Oh wow, I'm turning a lot quicker. Oh god, it's going faster. Oh god, okay. We found the fast part of the game, guys. <laughs> okay. Wait! Whoa! Whoa! Okay. Um. Maybe my wheels weren't hard enough? Because I'm kind of all over the place. So? Ah! Okay. This is fun. I'm having some fun. I am disappointed, however, that there are no other races on the track. That's kind of an issue for me. It just feels very, I don't know, empty. But it's fun. Uh, let's get a pit stop. Fix me. Uh, repair. Uh, repair my change C. Oh wow. Seven, eight. Eight sprites, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. <laughs> Watch out! I think I had a little too many. Um, don't tell me what I'm. I'm good to drive. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna try my hardest to stay on the track now. Whoa! Okay. P8, go, not QT. I'm... What? 
<laughs> yeah, I mean, this isn't... I don't know, It's la this is certainly lacking in some places, no other drivers, it feels very limited, but, I don't know, gameplay-wise, it's fine. This was Konami making a good game. What happened to you, man, Konami? You sold out all your tippy-tie. I got 8th place? Fuck off! Oh, shit, there are the other cars! That was just qualifiers. Here we go. Um... I think I'm racing ghosts. Yep, yeah, I am. This is a ghost track, and I'm racing ghosts. That is definitely a thing that's occurring to me at this point in time. Okay, so all the other races are gone. They were, uh, ghosts, and now they ascended into the ethereal realm. Where, presumably, they were killed by XCOM operatives. So yeah, it it works fine. The the uh, racing there's no collision detection, but again, I guess for Game Boy that's just how we have to deal with it. Oh wait, there's another racer. Come back! I wanted. I just want a friend, please. Yeah, it's nothing you know that's gonna change the world or make me say, oh my god, I need to go buy a copy of this game right now. But it's fun, you know, if you like racing. Please, I beg of you, come back, sir. Just all the other races are looking at me, like, driving normally, wondering what the fuck I'm doing. How many laps are there? Hit sus. Hit sus. Oh, God. What's happening? Oh, no. Ah! <laughs> My car's become possessed. Help. <laughs> Is my car twerking? God damn it! Not again! I think I need a pit stop. Help! Oh, uh, repair. What's wrong with me? Oh, my suspension. Repair it. Okay. I will say this. This race is going on a little long. It just feels like lap after lap after lap after lap after lap. With Game Boy? If you're gonna do a game like this, you're gonna have to be able to, you know, pick up and play, you know, wherever you go. And here, the race kind of feels, and I can't, there we go. The fate, the race kind of feels, I don't know, way too long. Like, I've done way too many laps, I'm, already, I'm kind of losing interest quickly. But I'm determined to get to the end of this race and see what happens. Ow. Please. L1, I'm noticing down there, so hopefully that means this is the last lap. I could see, you know, practicing and getting pretty good at this game, though. I mean, not me personally, but someone out there. You know, again, this racing, it's kind of hard to achieve on a Game Boy, but this one seems to be doing a pretty good job at it. And I do like all the strategy with, you know, repair and whatnot. Oh, check and flag! I did it! I lost to both, and Pavich, and Bach. God damn it. Oh, the end. I'm no expert on racing, but I gotta say that was not bad at all. The controls were responsive, the graphics were nice, and the gameplay was surprisingly more detailed than I expected. There was a lot to do, a lot of tracks, a lot of customization. It really lends itself to a fun racing game where you don't just pick cars, but you can modify them to your playstyle. That said, it did have a few drawbacks. The races went on for so long that by the end of them my enthusiasm had waned. Given the nature of Game Boy games, shorter races would probably have fit the game as a whole a lot better. The fact that there's no collision detection is also kinda lame. It makes you feel like, well, you're on the track yourself. Then again, again, Game Boy limitations. But honestly, there were a lot more positives than negatives in this game. It all works! The racing is fast, and with such a surprising amount of content, there's a lot to come back to. Maybe it's not the most memorable game out there, but for an early foray into the racing genre, this one sets a decently high standard and gives you plenty of reasons to come back for more. So, good work, Konami. 
Probably the first time someone said that sincerely in quite some time. And that's all for another episode of Game Boy Roulette. Join us next time as we continue our search through the Game Boy Vault. I'm Brian J, and I will see you next time.